Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you for still being here, even though we can be a little bit of a chaotic mess sometimes. This is just real life. So, today I have just like, a, I don't know, like a casual vlog for you guys. I want to show you some updates on a bunch of my plants. I rearranged um, a lot of the stuff in the bedroom, so I did want to show you that really quickly. But first, I wanted to unbox this product that I got in the mail from a company, I think it's pronounced Co-Kit, and I'm pretty excited about this because even though we just had released, it's been like six weeks now since we released all of the mites and ladybugs, I'm just trying to figure out how to open this thing, and um, they did a really good job with the spider mites in the greenhouse, but it is much harder to um, have them do their job out here. So there are definitely still some plants that are struggling. There's definitely some thrips going on on like this Hoya that I have over here that I need to address. But in the meantime, I thought it would be fun to try out this um, little bug catcher contraption. So I'm pretty eager to see what this looks like. I have wanted to get one of these devices and I just never really pulled the trigger on it. So when they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review it, I was like, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. So I think these are like the sticky pads. And here is the little device. It's really cute and small. And I'm pretty sure it runs on a little USB. It has a little port right here. The thing should be, yeah, there's a plug. It comes with the adapter which is nice because sometimes they just send you the cord and you're like okay that's fine but like I don't think I have an adapter a lot of them don't even have USB anymore like the regular USB USB A or whatever it is and then it has got the USB C which is actually the same charger as my phone which is good I just want to plug this in really quick, actually. I have an outlet right here. Hi. <laughs> and see um, if it works. Oh, so there's a button on the top. One says mosquito, one says bug. I don't know what the difference is between the two. Oh, di different lights. This one's blue. This one has like some red in it kind of more purpley so yeah there's that it is a fan and it attracts the light attracts the buggies and then in here is where you put one of your sticky traps sticky traps I do that now and then I'm just gonna plug it in. I'm gonna leave it on at night. I'll leave it running for like a week and then we can come back and see in another vlog if it's working, if it's catching anything. This is a great way to diagnose a problem too. If you have bugs flying around and you don't know what kind of bugs they are, um, hopefully I'll catch some fungus gnats and some thrips so that I can show you the difference between the two and how to recognize um, what you have. So little sticky goes in there, top goes back on. It's a really lightweight 
just like plastic, nothing too fancy. Um, how does this go? There we go. Uh, and I'm excited to try it. So I'm probably just gonna like leave it right here since uh, the bugs like to come to the windows. David's desk is right here to my right and he's getting hit in the face by fungus gnats all day long. So <laughs> I do think it needs to be plugged in. It doesn't charge. So yeah, this is the Co-Kit. Um, what's the like proper name? Indoor insect trap, two mode catching fly insects with suction, bug light, blue board, catcher and killer. Okay, not very, very helpful, but I do think that it is from Amazon, right? Was it an Amazon box? I don't even know, but I will have it linked below for you guys if you wanna try it with me. Um, I believe I have a discount code and all of that for you as well. I just don't remember it off the top of my head, so I have to go dig it out of my emails. But I'm excited to try this. If you want to try it with me, you're more than welcome to. I'll leave it linked down below for you. Um, but I will be back in about a week to check on the sticky and see what's been going on and see if this is actually something that really works. I know other people have had success with similar products. So I am excited to try it. So thank you, Coquit, for sending me this. Um, I'm gonna put it aside for now. And then I'm gonna just like take you around and show you some of what I got going on in here, including my little baby seedlings. I just started more seeds yesterday. I didn't film it because it was really not exciting, but I at least want to show you what I have growing. So let's do it. Okay, so nothing really in the living room has changed much except for I put my Huernia over here, my Lifesaver cactus, and the bloom died, but it like it still kind of looks cool. I mean, it didn't die. Maybe it's just, what did it do? It's closed? It looks closed. Do they close? I don't know, but I put it there. Um, I also put some terrariums down here because my cat, as you can see, he likes to eat the plants. So I have to be very diligent about like what he can get to here. Hoya are non-toxic, so I don't worry about him eating them. I just don't particularly like the way it looks when my Hoya leaves have holes in them. So that's unfortunate but there isn't really much that i can do to prevent him from doing that unless i just continuously put like lemon water or something on the plants but that is kind of a pain in the butt to maintain and remember to do so i have these little terrariums here that i bought at like home depot a couple of years ago and i'm just gonna put some of my little plants in there so that he can't eat them <laughs> so that's really um pretty much all that has changed here this is my other um cactus that's like similar with the blooms and whatnot i don't know i don't i genuinely don't know um there was a plant over here oh, i had a syndapsis jade over here that died so i moved my only lipstick plant because I don't do well with these. This is the variegated lipstick plant. It's doing okay-ish. So there's that, but we can't see the top anyway. We only see <laughs> that part. Um, this Monstera Deliciosa never grows, honestly. <laughs> it's probably my fault, but like I've had it for years. It started as just like a little baby, but it grows really, really slow and it's covered in dust. So there's that. Um, my Dishidia Jerry, just the regular green one here, is growing and I think it's so stinking cute. This was a rescue because um, it got pretty badly sunburnt a few years ago and I propagated it and I was patient and now it is finally growing into the beautiful plant that I knew it had the potential to be. This little guy is growing too. These are the Euphorbia fire sticks. This is one of David's plants and one of his ridiculous crab planters. I know you guys are very interested in seeing a tour of 
all of my planters. I'm just like removing sad yellow leaves while I'm here. Um, but it doesn't feel right doing that without him since a lot of them are his. This, these plain boring ones are mine. The ones that you guys think are fun are usually his unless they're like the little, little ones like this little anime guy. Um, that one's on Amazon. So I'm more than happy to go through, but most of them are from like local stores or, um, like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, things like that. Um, even Michael's last year at the end of spring a lot of places will do a sale that don't normally carry stuff like that so they're just trying to like move out the seasonal product so you can get really good deals um at the end of spring in a lot of these stores so my little begonia cuttings are rooting up nicely in water this is like the only begonia that i have left my little Dishidia Million Hearts is also growing. Crusher Pants is lounging on the old desk because we got a new one and we haven't moved the old one out yet. So he had been laying here, so I put a blanket for him and now this is his new favorite spot. Right, baby? You like this spot? Yeah, a oh, whole big stretch. Oh, so sleepy. You're so freaking cute, I can't stand it. I love you. I love it, a face. Anyway, um, yeah, so this here is the Hoya that has the thrips. It's really hard to see because it's backlit, but it's losing leaves like crazy. Um, and it's just not doing well, which is really disappointing because it's probably one of my biggest plants in my collection. So I'm going to try my best to salvage these vines, but they might need to get chopped and tossed which is really depressing but this plant grew so you hear the leaves all falling off this plant grew so fast for me after we got it it was not this big so I'm confident that like it's gonna bounce back and it's gonna be okay I just can't leave it like this for for much longer <laughs> there goes another one um or else it's just gonna die so there's that um nothing super exciting going on over here besides my olive tree it is growing it's got all these new little growth points on it which i think is just so stinking cute because we did lose a lot of leaves initially when we brought it home but it was winter um so you know now that it's warming up and i'm getting better at watering it it is actually doing really well can't say the same for my variegated bear paws, but I do have this one little, two little vines that are surviving, so I keep watering it <laughs> and hoping that I won't kill the remainder of that plant. Nothing exciting to report when it comes to my cacti and stuff like that. My hamalamina is completely done, so I keep trying to water it and it just, it won't, it's done, it's gone. So I need to throw that out. These are my propagations that I just did with you guys. I also propagated my Seropagia sandersonii. This is in the same family as, or the same genus rather, as String of Hearts, Seropagia, but it, they, they're like thicker, more succulenty leaves for sure, and mine was growing like crazy, so I had no choice but to chop and prop her. And then here we have my Philodendron Florida Ghosts. You guys, these are beautiful. And I have two, four, six big ones, three medium-sized ones, and this one teeny tiny little baby. So um, not bad. These were imports. We only lost like one plant, I think, which is like, boy, it happens. You lose some of the bigger leaves, so I put them in to these smaller containers, but some of these here are absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna give these probably another two weeks in their moss and perlite here, and then I am going to, what is that? Oh, I think there's like lotion. I got stuck to lotion. I don't know. Oh, soap. It's soap. I had them in the shower because <laughs> I was spraying them down with Captain Jack's anyway. 
So these are my Florida Ghost or Mint, whatever you want to call them. They are absolutely stunning and I'm very pleased with the fact that we have majority of them still still going. We had some sad leaves that we had to remove for sure, but that's just kind of par for the course when you are importing. I also chopped back my whole entire Peperomia Incana. I haven't quite figured out where to put the base because each little node you can probably already see if it would focus starts to push off these little teeny tiny is not going to focus <laughs> these little teeny tiny growth points so each node here should actually give new branches so i'm not i'm not worried about that one like at all i think it's going to be totally fine so the table is a mess what else is new <sighs> i gotta put these in a prop box but i wanted to spray them and make sure they were good before i did that so everything is looking good bedroom 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 ignore my mess please um this is eden's new enclosure it's looking a little bit bare right now because I didn't have like a ton of plants to put in there for her and they look really sad because they're fresh cuttings once they get rooted and established they will perk up like willows she has the cutest enclosure in my opinion um I ordered this or David ordered rather this hide off Amazon and I didn't realize how small it looked in here but like it's fine it'll be fine it's good for now and then I'll probably graduate her to oh, I just I didn't want to get the same one but I do really like this one and it is a good size it's definitely big for Willow but she usually just goes into the corner hi pretty girl what you doing you okay over there hi um, and then here's Eden, her little face. I don't know why they're hanging out next to their water bowls today, but hers is like a straight up bath. <laughs> I found it at Target for $5. So she's got a really oversized water dish and a slightly undersized, um, hide. So there is that. But both of my girls have got their little air plants in here, some alocasia, definitely not mad about it. I put the old enclosure down here with my aglionema commutatum variegated, um, my little rattlesnake figurine that I got <laughs> at the reptile lagoon in, um, what is it, South Carolina, south of the border, a couple of Hoyas in here, and one of my crystals so that is what this is looking like for right now and then David added excuse me David added two more shelves to the top so previously it only went as high as Willow's enclosure but because we sacrificed so much shelf space here your girl just needed like a little bit more room so my ficus chivriana is up there. I've got some water props up there. My neon pothos looks really cute hanging down the side over here. Um, and I'm still working on filling it in. I moved this alocasia heterophylla in here because I wanted to be able to enjoy her. Look at her. You guys, when I got her, I thought I killed her. She was one little shriveled up leaf, threw her in a prop box, and now look at her. She's thriving. She's got all these corms that busted out with baby plants, and she got way too big for the prop box. It was bending her leaf. It's starting, starting, starting to straighten up now, and like you know, look normal. But um, hopefully, I can keep it happy in here, and it'll give me even more of these massive leaves because this one's not done. I don't think this one's done hardening off. So hopefully, it'll get even bigger than that and I am just obsessed they call this one dragon's breath um and I just I love it it's got this silvery sheen to it it's veiny it's kind of got a little bit of a sinus some of them have more than others it'll get more as it matures and they can get even bigger than this you guys know if you know me I love a long 
leaf. So I just really love this alocasia. It's the last one that I have bought and I said I won't buy more, but if I can start keeping these happy, you guys, especially inside, I have a fry deck in here for Willow and another one that I don't know the name of in here for Eden. Um, I might need to buy more. They're just so pretty, but they're such a pain in the butt. Hi, baby. Um, and then I put my apple ballus back here. Um, hopefully going to keep that one happy now. It had spider mites, so I was treating it and isolating it for quite a bit. Um, but I think it's doing okay now, so I felt all right putting it over here. I'm obviously going to keep an eye on it. And then over here, you guys have seen all of these plants. My Florida Beauty put out this new leaf that like has no variegation on it, but that's fine. I'm sure the next, this one was stunning. So I'm sure the next one will be nice. My variegated peace lily is hanging out over here, looking cute. Um, and that's like, that's really it. There's nothing new. I put my variegated maranta back here just because I didn't know where else to put it. I don't love this, but I wanted to prop it up a little bit. So this is likely just temporary, but I wanted to put it on these shelves somewhere so that I can actually see it and enjoy it. So a couple of Hoyas up here. I moved my Carnosa up in here. I don't know if you could see the little blooms. Do you see the little blooms? Look at them. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? Definitely. Let me bring it down. This Ripsalis is happy as well. So this is just a regular Carnosa. Just a green one. But look at the cute little blooms. I didn't know it was blooming and I didn't like water it in time. So it lost some of its umbles. But look at how cute. I'm obsessed with Hoya blooms. I just think they're the cutest dang things. So that is my Hoya carnosa. Not a super exciting plant to look at, obviously. It's just a green Hoya. But the blooms, you guys, the blooms, they're so they're so stinking cute. So that is um everything that's going on on the shelves. My alocasia is still alive in here. And so is this mystery anthurium. I'm pretty sure it's an anthurium. Yeah. No idea what it is. Little seedling, but it's alive. And it keeps growing new leaves that are bigger than the last one. So hopefully we can continue to keep it alive and well and grow it out and be able to ID it and then continue to keep it alive from there. <laughs> we know that it likes the humidity at least, so there's that. Monstera Peru is doing well. Tycon is doing perfectly fine. Um, I moved my Polynura Silver in here hoping that I wouldn't forget to water it, but it's looking wrinkly again, girl. Why are you so thirsty? Um, yeah, so that is those shelves. Nothing new going on in the cabinet. Um, my little Hoya and Glariana is growing, which is nice. I was confused. I thought maybe this was the same as the one that Liz gave me, but it's, the leaf shape is different, like I thought. So I don't know, actually, the name of the one she sent me. My Bella is, like, still dying, even though I'm watering it more often. Um, but that's fine. Everything is totally and completely fine okay so now i would like to show you before we end the video my little seedlings so i don't think that i was watering them enough and i forgot to fertilize them i mean they have worm castings in there but i wanted to give them like proper uh fertilization so i used my bios fertilizer which is just like one that you sprinkle on top it's also supposed to help prevent fungus gnats so we'll see but this is my bok choy some of it's growing really well some of it's not but that's kind of to be expected i just think that the leaves are so stinking cute we've got some arugula growing over here 
not like, you know, growing the best out of everything. But we have some lettuce as well. I'm trying to get this sad leaf off of here. Um, my little cherries, some of them are growing. These cute little new leaves on them, like this one, is doing really well. Um, some of them are just like not as doing well, but that happens, I guess. And then my lemon balm. My lemon balm is doing really well. Most of these are growing successfully. And then over here, I plopped two new containers here that I filled with cocoa. And in here, I have two rows of Bloomsdale spinach. And then another two rows here of Butterfly spinach. So two different types of spinach in here. And then in this one, I put two rows of romaine lettuce and then two rows of kale. I forget what kind of kale, but I have the package still. So gonna leave these little humidity domes on them until the seeds grow big enough and tall enough that we can take them out and eventually transfer them to one of these. So I'd say that they're doing mildly well. <laughs> I'm not the best at this, but I'm learning. I started watering them every day instead of every other day, and I think that that is helping. Um, and I'm trying to not forget to turn the lights on in the morning for them as well. So we did have some loss. I just kind of like tossed them up here, but I will be happy as long as a few of them survive, especially the lemon balm. I'm very much looking forward to lemon balm tea again this year. So, and my bok choy, look at how freaking cute it is. I am obsessed with you. But that is, that is that. I already showed you guys everything that was going on in the greenhouse when I got home from vacation and things are looking pretty good in there so that's really it for everything that i wanted to show you today so if you hi baby yes i know you want attention <laughs> if you enjoyed hanging out with me today you i know you should give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. It's just a nice way to support my channel. Um, if you don't want to do like the monthly thing, then you can super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. I legitimately can't do this without you guys. And I am so grateful that I am able to do this. I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.